Good day, New Life. I have the joy of praying with you about unity. And I want to read two uh, verses first. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, uh, beginning in verse 10. I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. It's a strong prayer. Ephesians chapter 4. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There's one body, one spirit, just as you were called to one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. So this call for unity is really strong and uh, of all the things we're praying for, I, I don't know of anything more pertinent today than unity. We live in a divided world. We live in an opinionated world. And and those opinions are fine. Um, Politically, musically, like our opinions are fine. But our opinions should never drive us to disunity in the body of Christ where we look across at a brother or sister who has a different opinion and somehow look down on them or treat them rudely, or think of them lower or wrong. So I'd like to pray for unity. Lord Jesus, we live in a divided world, and I see it, and I feel it, and I hear it every day. Races are sometimes pitted against each other. Certainly Republican and Democrat are pitted against each other as much today as any time in history. Would you, at least with your people, would you chisel away forcefully at our pride that Christians would not walk around with arrogance of thinking they're right and others are wrong, that there would be humility that there would be gentleness, that there would be love, that there would be mercy, that there would be unity. So, Lord, I ask for a healing over our country to bring a unity amongst races. May black and white, red and yellow, regardless of where you were born, find a place of being unified unified in you first and unified just in kindness and goodness. Lord, I pray for unity amongst social classes, that the educated and the uneducated, that the rich and the poor would find unity, not differences to divide, but the ability to love and encourage and respect one another Lord, I pray for unity in a political realm. I I see divisiveness here as much as anywhere. Lord, would you join people together who simply love the country, even if they have different ideas of how to do what's best for it? Help us love people treat people with dignity and respect that every single human being on the face of this earth is created in your image and has your value and worth intrinsically knit into their being. Would you bring unity in a political realm? Lord, finally, and perhaps most importantly, I pray for unity in your church. Specifically here in Tucson, that the kingdom of God that represents or has within it 
every denomination, that all of the churches and all of the different ways we worship, that we would have a common bond in you, Jesus Christ, for your glory and for your purposes. Lord, would you bring and increase unity. That's our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.